am Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. This week's video is another video that I lately asked. If you follow me, you've noticed that I'm doing lately uh, weekly videos on different species of corals that I have here. Well, today I'm going to dedicate this video on the Favitis. It's an LPS coral. It's better known as a war coral or a red green coral. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'm going to talk about, you know, like the care requirements, what this coral is all about. So here we go. Okay, and here we are at the tank, a front view. Uh, well, first of all, uh, to start off, of course, this is an LPS brain coral. It's from the family of the brain corals. Now, another scientific name, uh, not only is it called a favitis, but it's called a favitis pentagona. Now, uh, the common names of this coral are something like pineapple coral, because of the smaller polyps, moon coral, of course, as I mentioned, brain coral, star coral. They're also called war coral, like, you know, like if you go to war, war coral and red green coral. Now, uh, these corals are semi-aggressive due to its uh, sweeper tentacles. That's why that they should be kept at a safe distance from other corals uh, due to it. I'd say like four to five inches. Okay, now they're uh, easy uh, to be kept due to a, a wide variety of water and light ranges. Now, if by any chance you have strong lights, then if under strong lighting conditions, in this case, it should be studded at the bottom of the aquarium, like let's say like the uh, substrate. And then like in a week or two, you move it up and up until you finally find that sweet spot. Now these corals uh, should be kept the lower two thirds of your uh, uh, water column of your tank. Now, uh, if this coral, if you leave it uh, undisturbed, with time, like two to three months, it will encross onto how it was uh, attached, like let's say to a rock, to a rub or whatever. And then at that point in time, it will take a natural type of appearance. When it comes to feeding, it takes a wide variety of foods. It takes from LPS pellets to engineered foods like refroids and even up to frozen foods. When it comes to temperature, it should be around uh, 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. pH should be 8.1 to 8.4. Salinity should be between 1.023 to 1.025 parts per million. And uh, this coral is a, uh, it's a very easy coral, like I mentioned before. It's a coral not only for beginners, but even for advanced hobbyists. Well, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Next to it, there's a little bell. If you activate that, that's the notifications. So next time I go ahead and do a video, which is weekly, you'll be the first ones to know. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.